lovely Kayla is driving me to Lakeland for the last time today. Uh, and then I get on a, then I'm filming all day with uh, Ronnie. You'll see him here in the vlog later today. He's a, one of my other filmmaking friends. And then I think I'm getting on a plane to go to Alabama for like two days to go look at new bars with JD. So, but I don't, I'm, I haven't confirmed that one yet. So, but thanks to Kale for being such a good friend. The Jeep's in the shop getting fixed, so I didn't have a car, so. This is the 17 to 40 on here, uh, but it's it's still cropped in because this is an APC sensor for all you nerd camera nerds out there. I just ordered the 10 to 18 uh, for this camera, so it should be here today. So get excited for more wide angle kind of stuff. It's gonna be sweet. All right, so just got done flying in Lake City with Kale. Um, come on, Kale, get the light. Get the light. Get the light. I'm doing it. Uh, Kayla, what do you think of the drone? It's super cool. Yeah. It's kind of scary. I thought I was going to chop my, chop my head off. So now I'm going to try to get back to Gainesville and then we have a shoot for the power company. Uh, like I said with Ronnie, so I'll show that in here as well. And then I got to figure out this flight situation. I don't know what's going on. Um, but I'll, I'll put some of the drone footage in here now. Just finished loading up the Jeep, and I am going to shoot with Ronnie Herrera, one of my very good friends and co-collaborator in filmmaking. Uh, he runs Reef House Media, and I help out a lot with a lot of the bigger shoots. Hopefully, uh, this will be one of many shoots that you can kind of get to see behind the, uh, behind the scenes, and you're gonna kind of see some of the bigger gear that I shoot with, not just this like 70D or like the drone, but some of the bigger like higher end uh, equipment that I that I have, and I get to work with uh, on a pretty regular basis, which it's kind of cool and kind of fun, um, and hopefully one day it'll be even bigger stuff. So uh, I'm on the way there. I'm always the early one. Ronnie's always a little late. So it is 12 now, so I'm going to get there at 12.15, 12, uh, 12 20. Uh, try to make the business look good since Ronnie's always late. Love you, Ronnie. Just had to poke fun at you. <laughs> okay, so we just got to the location. I actually was wrong on what shoot it is. So Ronnie got me there, and he beat me here. So go you, Ronnie. Uh, we're actually shooting for an electrician, which is still cool. Um, and yeah, so we just gotta unload all the stuff into the car and then I'll show you where we're shooting at today. Ronin shots are really intricate, so you have to like time everything properly, but they're really cool devices. So I love using them, they're great. They really add production value to everything. So me and Ronnie use it a lot. The Ronin requires a lot of setup and breakdown, but she's phenomenal. I'll uh, include some of the footage uh, that I got from that shot in here in the vlog today. Up, up. Am I following him inside? Am I following him inside? Nope. Um, Really cool. They take a little while to get used to, and you have to like really uh, know how to use them. Um, and there's certain things that just make your life way easier, like an external monitor, or like the thumb controller, which is great. I don't know if you can see that. It lets me like turn and pan it, so I can monitor it and turn at the same time. It's really great. Um, really adds a step up to your production value, um, and super light. As long as you work out a little bit, it's pretty easy to carry around all day. So, whoop. and you can beat the crap out of them, which is cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was awesome. And then the Florida Theater was such a great venue. It was pretty sweet. Let me answer this. Hey, John, what's up, buddy? Uh, whenever, is, is this my 30 minute warning? I can get somebody there in like 15. Ronnie and I are trying to get the lights to go on at the exact time as the car pulls up into the car. I'm talking to the, to the vlog, you jerk. <clears throat> The vlog, the camera. So, <laughs> what, what we're trying to do is get the car to pull up into the driveway and the lights pop on to kind of do this whole like automated light thing. 
uh, and Ronnie keeps screwing it up. So, oh, that's it. That's the cat here on location. Uh, and Ronnie can't quite get it right. So, hey, gets don't hey, don't play with the dead cat. <laughs> what what's not true, Ronnie? I'm going to sue for what? Libel? Yeah, we got it? We got it. Yeah. So right now we're shooting a bathroom scene and the lights are gonna go off. So Ronnie's currently sitting in the bathtub and we're shooting this way. I might be laughing, but I'm getting paid for this. <laughs> all right, so I just got done shooting with uh, Ronnie all day today. And now, I, so it's a what, um, 7.24? It feels way later than it is because it's dark out now. It gets dark at like, 6.30. I was driving home, I was like, oh, it's gotta be like 9 p.m. No, only 6.30. Uh, so I'm going to go to the gym now, and then I'm going to meet with my friend Sammy, who I'll show here as well, who's shooting this really cool like nature feature with uh, this company called Beneath the Waves, and I'm trying to help him with that documentary, uh, especially now with the whole political atmosphere right now. Uh, it's even more important that people understand what's happening to our environment, I think. Um, and Ron, er, Sammy's doing really cool stuff in those regards. We're gonna go over talking about shooting tomorrow, I think, it's an early shoot. And then I have to finish editing a shoot that we did in Atlanta uh, called Growing Pains, uh, episode eight, which is gonna be hilarious, and it's written by one of my very good friends, Jonathan Mitchell, one of my best friends. Uh, well, I have a lot of best friends. I'm a lucky guy. So that's the rest of today, and then wake up bright and early tomorrow, and boom, done. Oh, and got the new lens for the vlog. So lately these lenses, my a lot of my like nice cinema lenses, which this one is a 17 to 40 L series. And the one that's been on here for Neil deGrasse was a 24 to 105 L series. And then I've got a 70 to 200. It's a much bigger, longer lens. They're very tight, especially for these sensors because they're not specifically made for these sensors. They'll work, but they, it throws off the millimeters. So this one is made for that camera. It's still good, it was like $250 lens, but it's also gonna be much wider, so I don't have that issue of trying to keep me and anyone with me or numerous people in focus slash actually in the frame. This one is gonna help that, so let's see what this new lens looks like. And this is the new lens at 10 millimeters. Closer, it's not bad. So, you know, it's, it's still pretty wide though. You can kind of see a lot more from this lens than you could from this nicer, well not necessarily nicer, but just a different kind of lens. It also has near silent autofocusing, so I can be like, oh, what's up guys? And be back here, and it focuses, which is really cool. So, great, great lens for the vlog, cool. Sometimes the more expensive lens isn't the best tool. That's the lesson for today. Oh, I broke it for a second, so yeah. So um, this is a 17 to 40, that's a 10 to 18. So it lets me get real tight. Real tight? It's a lot. Tight? A lot. So, yeah.